Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're diving into one of the most fascinating and advanced technologies in aerospace engineering, the hypersonic scramjet. If you've ever wondered how something can fly five times faster than the speed of sound and still stay controlled and efficient, you're in the right place. Let's start with the basics. The term, scramjet, stands for supersonic combustion ramjet. Unlike traditional jet engines, scramjets have no moving parts. That's right, no turbines, no compressors. Instead, they rely on incredibly fast airflow to compress incoming air before ignition. The engine uses the aircraft's speed to compress air, which is then mixed with fuel and ignited, all while the vehicle is flying at hypersonic speeds, typically Mach 5 and above. You might be thinking, why not just use a rocket? Well, scramjets are far more efficient in the atmosphere because they don't need to carry oxidizers, they use the oxygen from the air. This drastically reduces the vehicle's weight and allows for longer range missions at a lower cost. That's why scramjet technology is being explored for both military applications and future space travel. Now here's where things get tricky. A scramjet only works once it's already going very fast, at least Mach 4. That means you need another propulsion system to get you up to speed before the scramjet can take over. Typically, that's done with a rocket booster or a turbojet ramjet combo. Once the aircraft hits the right speed, the scramjet kicks in and takes it to the next level. Temperature is another huge challenge. At hypersonic speeds, the air friction can heat the vehicle's surface to over 2000 degrees Celsius, which means engineers have to use advanced materials and cooling systems to keep everything from melting. So developing a scramjet isn't just about the engine, it's also about designing a vehicle that can survive the extreme environment it flies through. A great example of scramjet technology in action is NASA's X-43A, which set a speed record of Mach 9.6 back in 2004. More recently, companies and defense agencies around the world, including DARPA, Lockheed Martin, and China's CASIC, have been testing newer and faster scramjet-powered vehicles. The race for hypersonic dominance is very real and evolving fast. So why does this matter? Hypersonic scramjets could revolutionize space launches, make global travel incredibly fast, and give militaries a new edge with ultra-fast, hard-to-intercept weapons. It's not just cool science, it's a game-changer in aviation and defense. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss our next deep dive into cutting-edge technology.